Hey guys, today we're going to be breaking down how to wire up an electrical panel. Whether you're an apprentice just starting out or a homeowner who just wants to understand your system better, I'm going to be walking you through it in a safe, simple way. Let's get it. All right, guys, so let's get into the tools and material we're going to need to get this project done. For apprentices, it's super important because when your journeyman goes off to do a panel, you're the one that's going to know exactly what he needs before he even asks, so you're going to look like a fucking all star. All right? Tools we need a stripper, a set of Allen keys. Dykes, heavies. Uh, I already know this panel is dead, but you always want to check, right? If you're a homeowner or an apprentice, you want to be safe. So you can get your tester to test it out. You're gonna need a screwdriver, something to cut the wires with. You could use a wire cutter, cable cutter, but I'm using my bandsaw. Next, the material you're gonna need. You're gonna need all the breakers that you're gonna be using. So we got our single poles, our two poles, the GFI breakers, arc fault breakers, dual function breakers, all that stuff. If they allow you to use them, zip ties. If you're doing residential, surge protector in each sub panel, very important. You'll fail inspection without that and no locks. All right, so first off, we're gonna take our blade Choose the wire, any wire. If you have a good journeyman or lead guy outside, they should be making sure and letting you know that you need a label, what everything is beforehand so you don't gotta waste time troubleshooting and finding it later. You're gonna take your blade, you're gonna score on both sides of the wire. Don't go too deep, you don't wanna cut the wire. And you're gonna pull that out, right? You're gonna see what this is. This is the kitchen GFI. So, take a marker and rewrite it a little bit nicer. So, we'll cut this off until you're just left with a little piece like this, right? So, what I do, I leave my ground to the back, put our tag we identified on the hot or neutral, bend it over, and get it out of your work area, right? We wanna clean this up. So, we're gonna repeat that process on everything in here and we'll go from there. All right guys, before we begin, let me give you a quick breakdown of the way a panel is laid out. Here, we have our two main lugs. I have my main disconnecting means outside at the service, so that's the protection. If you don't have that, then you would have a breaker in here and that's where your mains go. Then you have your neutral bars, which is this one and this one where your neutral wires go. This one back here is your ground bus bar. So the way you can differentiate which is your ground and which is your neutrals is your ground is always gonna be touching the enclosure. If you see, it's all the way to the back. Your neutral bus bars, they are connected with the guts of the panel. So that's how you know which is your neutrals and which is your grounds. I always find separating each wire before you do it gives you the cleanest panel. So I like starting off with my grounds, so let's go ahead and land those first. So now that our grounds are landed, all our wires are out of the way, we have a good, clean, open working space. At this point, I'm gonna go ahead and install my breakers. I always try to instill this into my apprentices to always install the breakers in the off position. When you first open them out of a brand new box, some of them will be off, but a lot of them will be on or in the trip position. Turn them all off, all right? It'll make sense later. There are so many types of breakers you can use, guys. Single pole, two pole, tandem, GFI, arc fault, all kinds, man. I'm gonna make a video on that coming soon, so make sure you guys watch out for that. So now that we have all the breakers installed, we can get to the fun part and start lining all the wires. There's two ways to go about this. This is the first way I was taught 10 years ago. You put all the copper towards the back with your mains in front of them. But over time, I started doing it a different way because I feel like this is a little bit better. You put your mains first and all of this in front of it. The reason being is because when you go to a service call, you're gonna mess with these, not your feeders, right? The only time you're really gonna touch your feeders is if you're doing like a service upgrade or something, you're gonna take the whole damn thing off anyway. So I like these in front, so later if I have to service it or another electrician comes, it's easier on them to get to what they need to get to. All right guys, so let's begin. I'm gonna go ahead and start lining my mains. You want to position them nicely in the panel where you want them to end up. 
You're going to grab your no locks and put it on all your aluminum conductors, right? Just on the ends where the aluminum is meeting the lugs. After applying no locks to the end of the conductor, all you're going to do is tighten it with the Allen keys. All right, guys. So if you notice, we got two types of grounds here. We got our copper and we have our aluminum. Two different types of metal. We do not want them touching. We do not want them to corrode. So we're going to take some green phasing tape, which is the color for ground. And we're just going to make a barrier just so we know they're not going to touch and that's protected. Now that our grounds are taken care of, we'll go ahead and land the rest of our feeders, black, red, and neutral. Don't forget no locks and do not over tighten. After lining my feeders, I'm going to go ahead and start lining my hots and neutrals. If you notice in the video, I know it's sped up, but all my neutrals are gone first. Like I said, you want to part out your wires. You want to do your grounds first, your neutrals, and your hots separately. This will give you the cleanest, best looking panel you can have. Finally, after lining all your wires, you just want to clean it up by throwing some zip ties in that hoe and you'll be good to go. Finally, all the wires are done. Last thing to add is your surge protector. Let's cut this baby open. Let's cut this baby open and install it. I put them at the very bottom of the panel, off to a corner, that way they're out of the way. And in the future, if somebody wants to come and add breakers, they have all that space. After everything's said and done, here's the finished result of our panel. Just some good, clean work. All the wires are organized, conductors are labeled, so we know what's what. This is exactly what you guys want. All right, guys, so that's it. That's how you land a panel. That's some good agua. That's water in Spanish. Hope you guys learned something. Catch you on the next one.